So, summer's short and money is tight, right? <laughs> and it's time for back to school already. How did that happen? Wow. Um, so let's, let's chat. This video is a collab with a Catholic Marathon mom and several other homeschooling channels. So I will give you a link to the collab playlist down below. When you're done watching this video, please go ahead and check them out. If, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> if you're here, from their channel, welcome. Wow, mommy brain. Are we real? Is it really almost August? Wow. Okay, so we have two questions here, and I'm just going to be very upfront. This video is going to be all over the place because I'm just going to chat at you. I'm going to answer these questions, but the main point of this video is I want you to know that um, homeschooling is so unique for each family, and so. What works for my kids, what works for somebody else's kids is not necessarily gonna work for your children, your family, your season, your circumstance. So take everything that you hear on the internet, including what I'm about to say with a grain of salt, and um, just really pray about your situation and what works best for your family, and then trust yourself in that and take a leap. So the first question is if I can only purchase one curriculum or subject, what would it be? Okay, and this is, again, it's gonna vary by family, it's gonna vary by student, but what I would recommend is purchasing the subject, if you can only purchase one, like, full set of teacher's guides and textbook, and you know, if you can only have that for one, I would get the one that is least intuitive for you. And what I mean by that is the subject that it might be kind of challenging for you to iterate to your child. And for me, that's math. <laughs> I've always loved math, but I was never really good at it growing up. And so getting a math book with a guide and worksheets and everything, the whole shebang, the little blocks, that's so helpful to me um, to be able to explain it to my children. It's not that I don't understand how to do math, I know math, um, <laughs> but there's something nice about having a straightforward way to teach it because knowing it and teaching it are two different things. So for us, we do um, Singapore math that, and we have just loved Singapore math, but we found that for one of our students, it was actually a little bit too, um, conceptual and to um, what's the word that I'm looking for it's uh, where you have to imagine it in your head as opposed to feeling it with your hands so it's not kinesthetic so this year we are trying math you see with that child and I'm really excited to see how that goes because that is going to be more hands-on for our kinesthetic learner. But yeah, so for me it's math, but for somebody else it might be language arts. You know, I know several women, they can just take a language arts book and, or any book for that matter, like a story book, and turn it into a language arts textbook. They, they're just so proficient with grammar and all that. If that's you, then you know, you do it, like go for it, like more power to you. <laughs> but for others, they prefer more of a book that teaches like explicitly, this is what an adjective is, this is what a verb is, this is how to write a paragraph, <laughs> you know? And so it just, that would be the one subject I would buy, the one that is least intuitive to you. And number two, what is the top homeschool accessory or tool that is a must have for you? I'm gonna have to say our pencil sharpener. <laughs> and just tons of pencils. I bulk ordered pencils on Amazon um, a while back and I just never regretted it because so often there were days in homeschooling where we would just spend so much time just getting everything prepared. Um, 
is there paper, is there pencils, you know, and then, oh, my pencil broke, oh, where's the sharpener, Where, you know, it's turned into this whole thing. But when I bulk ordered, I think I ordered 100 pencils. There's no excuse, there are sharp pencils for everybody. And so that is definitely one of the accessories that I would have on hand. Another one is just like little bins. You can get these at the dollar store. Um, I color code my children and so each child knows their color and there's just a lot of mm, homeschool clutter that accumulates and everyone has their bin so they're not allowed to leave papers laying around or like little erasers or whatever it goes in their bin and so you know random things end up in the bin we still have to clean out this last year um, like art projects that's like one even I don't know <laughs> but I would recommend a little bin for each of your children just so they feel like they have their space and it's like I'm not gonna mess with that I'm not gonna throw anything away in there and that's your bin um, as for organizing tools for mom I really love this Catholic homeschool planner to be completely frank with you, I didn't use it that much. Um, I definitely was more in my binder. That's where like the, the rubber met the road there for me. But the planner was just so beautiful because it talked about what was going on in the church and it gave some reflections and then place to write notes down. So this was always a nice way for me to kind of regroup when I was just feeling like, oh, we've hit another wall. And I could regroup and plan, and it was just, this was more of like a mommy tool for my sanity. <laughs> but the binder is where, this is where it all happened. Like, these tabs are great, these Avery tabs. And then, so I just labeled them. So I had each child our daily schedule, our weekly plan, resources, printables, like there's so many amazing printables, ongoing projects. So if you wanna see inside my binder, I will take you in the binder if, just let me know you want a video on that. Um, and then our calendar, of course. So homeschooling can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. Um, and I hope that this video has encouraged you to really tune into your family, your students, your situation, your schedules, and just take it one day at a time. We're all in this together and happy schooling. Say bye. <laughs> Good water? Yeah, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. We're all in this together. Yeah.